Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? So today I'm going to be carving out a horse head and showing you guys how to do that step by step. As you can see, I have a, a relatively large piece of wood here. I'm just going to be carving the top portion of a horse head and I'll figure out what I'm doing down here after. But I will do a step by step on how to do the actual head and then I will time lapse the bottom of it. Uh, I don't think I've touched base on this before, but it's, 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 it's kind of important to have reference photos of the, the work you're going to be doing. So I've got a couple here. First picture is just of a horse rearing because that's the kind of thing I'm going for. My other picture is of the jaw structure and just of the face. Can't show you the third picture because I wrote someone's phone number on it and we don't want that floating around the internet. So I guess the first step is just going to be shaping out the head here. I'll spray paint that on and we'll go do a first couple cuts. Alright, so this is the general look we're going to go for. Now I'm going to give myself an inch of grace all around these cuts. Just because you know it's you know you you want your general shape, but you still want some wood to play with. So I'm gonna fire up the saw and get cutting. All right, so now we have our uh, just our general shape out. I'm gonna bring the camera around and give you a, a straight on view. So we're gonna find our direct center. As you can see, my piece of wood is tilted, so it's gonna be a little different. Got our ears here. Horse head comes out, out, and then down. Oh, voila. Some bug eyes on there. And voila, your masterpiece is complete. So let's go cut these out. And don't worry about hitting the neck. And uh, don't worry about the back end for the hair yet. Just gonna shape the face out right quick. I don't know if you can hear me all that well, but the next step is going to be finding where the eyes are so we can narrow the snout down and find the jawline, so on and so on. So as you can see on the reference photo here, there's half of the horse head here. In between the nose and the ears, you find your halfway point, and then the eyes are in the halfway point of that. You got your nose. Find your halfway point, and then between the halfway point are where the eyes. I've already got them sprayed on. But what we're gonna do here is gonna make a cut in like this, in like that, and we're gonna straighten out on either side. All right. give you a little roundabout shot of what we have here. As you see our eyes are kind of dug out. Alright. What we're going to do next is we're actually just going to thin down the entire head because I've noticed right now it's relatively fat. So we're just going to bring it down to proportions what is actually similar to a horse's head. Alright so I don't think I was actually recording for that one unfortunately. But I just thinned down the sides here to make it uh, a little bit more uniform. What we're going to do next is we're going to find the, the cheekbone, which looks like kind of like a whistle almost. Reference photo, handy dandy here. And as you can see in the reference photo, the back of the jawline is almost parallel with the ear. Kind of drew a line on there, I don't know if you see that. The ears to the base of the chin, right there. And then from the middle of that down to the snout, you get a little T. Now we're going we're gonna to try to duplicate that on wood. Alright, so there's the jawline. like that. We'll do that on the other side. I cut that out and then we'll work up bottom here. His neck actually comes right off the base of that. We'll do that. So we're just going to cut that out. So what we've got now is a big fat horse face and we're going to try to thin this down a little bit. Uh, we'll go to the top of the ears here, and we'll we'll go in because the horse's head is kind of it's kind of uh, pitched up right here. So we're gonna cut those out. 
And then we're just gonna thin down the nose. Now I can't really instruct you on how to thin down the, the actual nose and get the shaping in. That's something you're gonna have to look at pictures and kinda do on your own. For a couple of hints though, you got, just look at your pictures and see the muscles and kinda carve out the muscles and, and thin everything out and that'll get you to the relatively right shape of what the horse should be looking like. rough out of where we're wanting our hair to be. As you can see over the top, I completely stopped at one point and then just carved his neck a little bit. Just kind of roughed it down. So what we're going to do now, we're going to find our eyes. We know where those are from our marks previous. Now on this one, eyes are a little wide set so they're over here. This one's over here. We're going to scoop this down on either side and then we're going to use power tools. Uh, personally I'm going to use a power gouge right quick just to define the sides of where his cheeks are. Carve out the nose which would be a slant here and then a slant back and we're just going to continue shaping until we get it to a point where we're happy with it. Oh and another point is we're going to, we're going to carve out the ears. Remember that there's a little patch of hair that comes down the front of his face, so leave room for that. You can even spray it on there so you know not to shape it out. So now we're just going to dig out the eyes on either side. Now remember, you got your hair coming in on this side. So the eye is going to be under the hair. What kind of, uh, do you, what do you call that? What's the word I'm looking for here? So your eyes are just big ovals like eggs, right? We're going to dig those out. I'm going to use a die grinder with a teardrop bit on it to really, really dig in there fast and get them out. And once you find out where that is, you can, you can definitely get into shaping with a, a donut saber disc or something like that uh, just to define the rest of the place. I'm also going to go in and do the nose while I got the teardrop bit out. So I dug out my eye here, I did my nose, and this is where reference uh, photos are very important because 
these noses are weird, man. And on every carving, it's different. Just depends on the view. But it's literally just, uh, you know, go in, dig your bit out and around, in, out and around. And that's kind of the gist of the nose. Now this eye, I had a little bit of problems because, like I said, it is under the hair. So I haven't really defined it all that much. But I do have the hair coming out a bit. And uh, it was just trying to make sure the eyes are even because that's, you know, that's, that's kind of important on a carving is, is uh, symmetry. I went up and I, and I cut my ears nice and uh, flat down and kind of read my treads here. And so I'm going to grab a donut disc now and I'm just going to shape the shit out of this carving and just kind of define muscles in there. And where I say reference photos for, uh, for, for where the muscles are going to be are very important because the muscles on a horse, horse's face kind of define it. You could just smooth this out too uh, and not go as far as putting all the muscles and stuff in there and I guarantee you it'll look absolutely skookum. Alright, get you a close up here. So I am actually quite content uh, at this point with my shape. I just need to work on the ears a little bit with the chainsaw. Got your nose. I went in and did the little lip flare around the back here, which is relatively important just to define that uh, lip. Uh, the other side's really flat, but I mean, you can only you only go so far, right? Uh, so I'm gonna sand this down with a, a flap sander, and then go over some detail on the eyes and where the mouth is, and then go over all the hair up the top there, and that'll conclude the horse head. All right. This bit of sweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desire set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire
Alright guys, so that's it for the how-to horse head tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse just on finishing the bottom of this. And as a part two of this video, probably sometime next week, I'll have the footage on uh, uh, finishing it, adding uh, detail and highlights in certain locations, and uh, just giving it an overall uh, a nicer sanding. Alright guys, thanks for watching.